Are you aspiring to achieve the perfect score in NEET chemistry exam? Many students dream of accomplishing this feat, but only a select few manage to make it happen. You probably watch countless YouTube motivational videos who claim to tell you the secret to the success. But in this video, we are going to go much deeper than that and not just motivation, but a clear cut, tried and tested methodology of achieving 180 out of 180 in NEET chemistry exam. So how can you crack the NEET chemistry code? Let's find out. So before we start discussing the strategy, here are some important stats from the NEET 2023. 20.87 lakhs registrations and out of that 20.38 lakhs appeared. So that is your competition. And for how many seats? MBBS seats total 1 lakh 6,000. BDS seats almost 28,000. Ayush seats almost 53,000. And the BVSC or AH seats 600. So these are the total seats that you are targeting under the NEET examination. And just to give you a clear idea about how much you should be scoring in total, just have a look at the NEET AIR and their score this year, 2023. All in rank 1 and 2 had a perfect score of 720. Rank 3, 716, 4 to 19, 715, up to 20, 712. And even the 50th rank was still at 710 parts. Now take a look at the score versus the All India rank. So even if you had scored 710 this year, still under top 50, not under top 10. Okay, so student scoring 710, getting a rank between 27 and 50. And if you have a score between 599 and 607, then your rank is 14,000 to 18,000. So that is a competition. You must understand the competition first because developing the strategy or working towards that perfect score requires you to understand the competition. Now let's talk about the chapters who can give you more than four marks. Okay, so here are some tab chapters and the average number of questions in the recent years need examination. S block generally gets two questions. P block three to four. I'm talking about the entire P block 11th and 12th combined. D and F block two questions. Coordination compound two questions. GOC plus POC combined give you two questions. Hydrocarbon generally three questions. Hello alkanes and hello arenes, two questions. Carbonyl compounds and acids, two to three questions. Chemical bonding around three questions. Equilibrium, two to three questions. Electrochemistry plus redox. Finishing this chapter will give you a lot of confidence that yes, you are going to score much better than your competition. So do focus on these most important chapters. So here are my nine points to give you the perfect score in need chemistry. Okay, the path to 180 out of 180 in chemistry. First is understand the exam. So what exactly means understanding the exam? You have to understand the pattern, the toughness of the question, the speed required, okay, and the mindset of examiner. When you go through at least 10 years PYQ, then you get a fairly good idea about what type of pattern is being followed and what is the boundary, what is the virtual boundary that the examiner is not going beyond this boundary. So you need to understand the exam because sometimes we are studying books or study material that uh, makes us feel great. We are solving great problems and we, so we are feeling good about that. But those problems are not in line with the pattern of the exam. So you need to follow the pattern and only the pattern. Do not digress from that path. Most students they get involved in like uh, solving so many tougher problems or maybe some complicated problem, reading so many textbooks, so many study materials that they end up getting confused and not reaching anywhere. Okay, so I hope first point is very much clear to you. Second point is finalize your books and educators. Only one book that is in chemistry, you have to focus on the NCRT textbook, NCRT exemplar, the lab manual, and only one set of educators. Do not have so many reference books and all. If you have a good team of teachers teaching you, then your concept will be cleared in the class and you only need to go through the NCRT so that, that the application, the problem practice and everything, the scope of the, that concept is clear to you. Okay. So this complete syllabus by January. So that is your target. So whenever you are making the strategy or the timetable, keep that in mind that you have to finish the syllabus by January so that after that you can focus on the revision part. Fourth, keep your motivation high. I'm not talking about the external motivation. I'm talking about the internal motivation because there are many times when you'll face up and down in your journey. And in those difficult times, you must continuously motivate yourself why exactly you are doing this. Okay always remind yourself first thing in the morning when you get up remind yourself what you're going to do today and why you're going to do that next focus on ncrt exemplar pyq okay i've already covered this make short notes because retention is the biggest problem 
students study a lot of questions okay solving a lot of question dpp and everything but during the exam they are not able to recollect all that they had studied so you must make short notes and weekly revision suppose i am studying a one particular chapter in this particular week so by the weekend i have to revise that in all the subjects next concept first practice later a lot of students make this mistake they are so impatient in finishing the syllabus they just rapidly brushing up the concepts and just going through uh, the concepts in a very shallow manner and focusing more on the dpp solving that will not give you any anything because even if you solve 500 questions that will not ensure that your concepts are clear but once your concepts are clear even if you do 50 that's sufficient okay so concepts first so focus on the understanding of the concepts fundamentals and then build your speed then revise at least twice before the exam this is very very important because neat is all about speed you have to revise twice before the exam and you must know in which page or like in which paragraph or which table of ncert this particular information is given so that should be the level of expertise in ncert textbook and then mind power and meditation the most important part because a lot of time it has happened that students who were doing really good in their pools coaching classes everywhere in the mock test they were not able to score that good they scored much below their expectations and everybody's expectation in the final exam because they faltered there they lost their confidence they were suddenly nervous so you need to work on your mind power how to do that every single day use the positive affirmations to remind you that yes this is my motivation this is my reason to study and yes i am a successful student i will be successful i will definitely crack neat this year with a perfect score remind yourself every single day because whatever you're saying your body your mind is accepting that to so tell yourself repeatedly okay maybe today right now i am not getting this tomorrow i will solve this it's fine but i will crack it so always always work on your mind power and do sit at least 10 to 15 minutes of meditation session like mindlessness so that is my nine points for 180 out of 180 in chemistry let me know if i missed anything and if you have anything better to contribute any of your feedback do let us know in the comment section keep smiling stay happy all the best see you in the next video like share subscribe bye